you know any penguins intimately? That shouldn't be science and nature. That should be gossip. I'll <laughs> say they do it six times. Well, why only six times? Did you ever see what they look like? Well, they live on icebergs. What else could they do all winter? I say 20 times. Ha <laughs> ha, wrong. <laughs> <laughs> they do it once. <laughs> once? <laughs> Jesus, I married a penguin. <laughs> <laughs> Christ, it's hot in here. When is she going to get an air conditioner? Your role. Oh, I'm going to pass out, I swear. Someone told me you were seeing a doctor. Is it anything serious? No, we only had two dates. Oh. Four. One, One two, two, three, four. Oh, Christ, sports. Go the other way. We take yeah. science. Two minutes to go. I'm counting down. You mind if she asks the question first? Go on, Vera. What does the C mean in Einstein's theory of relativity E equals MC square? <laughs> we'll try sports. Yes. You can't change after you've heard the question. She picked it on my turn. I pick sports. A minute 30 and counting down. Who pitched back-to-back no-hitters for the Cincinnati Reds in 1938? Want to take a crack at MC Square? Uh, give us a hint. What kind of hint? Is it baseball or football? Oh, it's not. Uh, what is it? It's baseball. Oh. I'll give you another hint. He has a Dutch name. Dutch Schultz. Dutch Schultz was a gangster. Uh, Joe Rembrandt. Is that your answer? Oh, uh, Peter Windmill. Is that your answer? Mm -hmm. 60 seconds and counting down. Oh, oh, what is this? Left off the Cape Canaveral? Olive! We need help. I'm coming, I'm coming. Did you give up? Not yet. Uh, Bobby Amsterdam. Uh, Tony Tulips. Oh, give up. You're never going to get it. Huh. <gasps> I have to leave by 12. Where the hell are you running? I told you that. When I sat down, I have to leave by 12. Mickey, didn't I say that when I sat down, I have to leave by 12? I'm really starting to worry about Florence. She's never been this late before. I told Harry I'd be home by one at the latest. We're making an 8 o'clock plane to Florida. Who goes to Florida in July? Oh, well, it's off season and there's no crowds and you get the best room for one-tenth the price. Some vacation. Six cheap people in an empty hotel. Maybe Florence is sick. I'm really getting nervous. Uh, do you give up? Ah, uh, Mickey Dice. I hate this game. Did you know that Florence once locked herself in the bathroom overnight in Bloomingdale's? Yeah. She wrote out her entire will on a half a roll of toilet paper. Oh. Time is almost up. Oh, oh. What's the 
was he? I can't help it. Every time I hear his voice on the phone, I end up sending him a check. He is so good at it. He puts in this little whimper because he knows it gets to me. Well, I would never support an ex-old man. Not until women are getting equal pay with men. Right. right. Well, you have to look at it both ways. What sorts for the goose is sorts for the gander. You're going to be some big hit in Florida. Do you give up on the strongest muscle? The tongue. That's right! Yeah. Oh, right. Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Oh, oh, 
fan club, hello. Oh, hello, sweetheart. I told you uh, not to call me tonight. I can't talk to you now. <laughs> you know I do, darling. <laughs> All right, <laughs> just a minute. <laughs> Mickey, it's your husband. Oh, oh. <laughs> I wish you were having a parent, and then it would bother me all the time. <laughs> Hello, Stanley. What's wrong? Did you make yourself dinner? What'd you have? Lamb chops? That's very good, Stan. Well, your husband can make lamb chops. He boils them in water. <laughs> <laughs> No, she didn't show up tonight. What's wrong? You're kidding. How should I know? All right, I will. Yes, goodbye. What did I tell you? What's the matter? Lawrence is missing. Oh what are you doing? I told you something was up. She wasn't home all day today. She canceled her facial appointment and her pedicure. She never showed up for her yoga class or her spiritual advisor. No one knows where she is. Stan just spoke to her husband. Oh, she... Wait a minute. Nobody's missing for one day. That's right. You've got to be missing for 48 hours before you're missing. She loves the Museum of Modern Art. Maybe she went there. Well, maybe she got locked in the museum. I once talked to a security guard there for 20 minutes until I found out he was a statue. <laughs>
Miss Entertainment, open the door. Right.
not my husband's. Oh, oh my God. God. Just, just a pill. Just a few, that's all. How many pills? What kind of pills? I don't know, little green ones. I just grabbed anything out of Sydney's cabinet. Oh, I'm going to call Sydney. Yeah. Check no, it don't call Sydney. If he hears, I took a whole bottle of pills. Oh, 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 <laughs>
Oh, please, God, tell me what to do. Tell me what I'm doing wrong. Oh, please, God, help me. And I would hear Sydney in the bedroom saying, Oh, please, God, make her shut up. Tell her to be quiet. Oh, please. Everyone crazy. <coughs> 
much of it left. <laughs> if only I was 70, 75, I could get through it. <laughs> I'll tell you what you're going to do. You're going to start a whole new life. You're going to stand on your own two feet. Be independent. You're right. Of course I'm right. That's what I was before I was married. Hey. I was a great bookkeeper. I could have been Price Waterhouse today. You're right. Go back to work. Be independent. A self-sufficient woman. That's damn right. Maybe I could even get my old job back. Why not? Who did you work for? Sydney. <laughs> Him. <laughs> he sneezed. What do you want from me? <laughs> Does he want to 
just wanted to make sure you were all right. He did? He said he loved you very much, and you're a wonderful mother and a wife. He said that? Mm -hmm. What else did he say? Uh, it's not important. Well, what else did he say? It was nothing. What else did he say? That as a woman, you're crazy as a bed bug. <laughs> <laughs> What the short, hairless cowboy said. <laughs> Tell him he'll never find another woman like me if he lives to be a thousand. Hey, uh, which bedroom do you want? One you can see New Jersey, and the other you can see a guy who sleeps naked. You know, I'm glad because he finally made me realize it's over. It didn't sink in until just this minute. You want a sleeping pill? Why don't you take a sleeping pill? I can't swallow them. Well, you could suck on them all night. <laughs> You know, I didn't believe him until just now. My marriage is really over. Florence, um, let's go to bed. You know, I have another career besides you. You know, somehow it doesn't seem so bad now. I mean, I think I can live with this thing. Good! Live with it tomorrow. Go to bed tonight. I will. I just want to start rearranging our life, get things in order. Uh, do you have a pad? I want to make out menus. No! No menus. Uh, yes. Don't plan my food. I don't want to make any promises to a roast chicken. Now, please, let's go to bed. <laughs> I will. I just want to be alone for a few minutes, collect my thoughts. You know, I think better when I clean. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to be able to sleep if I hear you. <coughs> you want to clean something, why don't you go downstairs and clean the elevator? You'll appreciate it in the morning. Once I get this junk out of here, you'll see furniture you never knew you had. So go on, go to bed. I'll see you for breakfast. You're not going to do anything big, are you, like uh, putting up wallpaper? Ten minutes, that's all I'll be. I promise. Oh, I'm going to be No, no. Oh, Olive? What? I never realized you were so lonely. It must have been awful for you without anyone else here. Well, we'll see. <laughs> this is Roger Keating and the six o'clock report. New York was hit with its third strike of the week. This time, the city employees of 37 New York hospitals walked out at 3 p.m. this afternoon. The mayor's office has been flooded with calls as hundreds of patients and elderly sick people have complained of lack of food, clean sheets, and medicines. One 79-year-old patient in Lenox Hill Hospital fell in the corridor, broke his leg, and was treated by a 73-year-old patient who had just recovered from a gallbladder operation. Two of the most cold-blooded robbers in the city's history today made off with $4,000, stolen from the New York City home for the blind. Police believe it may have been the same men who got away with $3,600 on Tuesday from the New York Cat and Dog Hospital. Water may be shut off tomorrow, says the New York Commissioner of Health, because of an anonymous phone call made to the Bureau this morning, threatening to dump 50 pounds of chemical pollutants in the city's reservoirs. The unidentified caller, after making his threat, concluded with, It's gonna be dry tomorrow, baby. And now, these special reports from our correspondent, Robin Leach. Hello, this is Robin Leach sitting in for Stan Jennings, who was beaten and mugged last night outside our studio following the 6 o'clock report. A Polish freighter, the 6,000-ton Majorca, scaled into the New York Harbor in dense fog at 7 a.m. this morning and crashed into the Statue of Liberty. Two seamen were injured and electrical damage caused flickering in Miss Liberty's torch. It was the first recorded maritime accident involving the famed statue, although the Polish freighter had been in six previous sea collisions. And today, in a midtown hotel following a convention of the National Psychiatric Society, 17 of the leading psychiatrists in the United States were trapped between floors in an elevator for over 45 minutes. Panic broke out, and 12 of the doctors were treated for hysteria. And now, this message from Ultra Bright. Well, first she has to go to 
<laughs> Always try to use your coasters, girls. Uh, Sherry straight up. Sherry straight up. And I have my coaster. <laughs> Always try to use your coasters, girls. Don't mean to be a pest, but those wet glasses are my nice clean tablecloth. Farina. Is it Farina? Was it Farina in the odd game comedy? Uh, right, the cute little black girl circle around her eyes. Vroom, 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 vroom. And a nice clean ashtray for Sylvie. Oh, it's Farina. <laughs> Something, something cereal. Right. And cereal. A sandwich. Poor Vera. Oh, that looks wonderful. What is it, Florence? Well, it's crab salad with curry sauce and a dash of dill on Swedish rye. Oh, you did this all just for me. Oh, you know how I love to cook, honest. Oh, yeah. Huh? I just back in the floor. Eat over your dish, please. <laughs> <laughs> Because you're free, you can do what you 
he said to other things. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that to me. There are a couple of brothers in this building. They're Spanish. They used to live in Spain. They're a million laughs. How do you know? I was trapped in the elevator with them last week. They asked me to dinner. This will be perfect. Well, what, what do they look like? Oh, they're real gentlemen. They wore double-breasted suits. Well, double-breasted suits does not mean they're real gentlemen. Oh, but these had cuffs on the pants. Well, are they young? Are they old? Hey, I'm trying them? to tell you these are a couple of classy Spanish guys. Where did I put their number? Um, no taps on their shoes. Well, which one do I get? Oh, whichever one you want. When they walk through the door, just point to the Spaniard of your choice. <laughs> I, I wouldn't know what to say to them. Oh, stop worrying, will you? They're easy to be with. I was uh, with them, talked for half an hour, and didn't even understand a word they said. <laughs> they don't speak English? <laughs> they speak perfect English. Every once in a while. <laughs> Florence, promise me one thing. What? You will not call one of them Sydney. <coughs> Forget Sydney, it is Manolo <coughs> and Jesus. Manolo and Jesus? You don't pronounce the J. Where is there a J in Manolo and Jesus? Oh, would you stop worrying? We are going to have a night out on the town. They know the best Spanish restaurant in New York. <gasps> no, I can't go out to a restaurant and be seen by everyone in the city. You think people are waiting in line to see who we go out with? Uh, I'm talking about my family, my friends. What if my mother-in-law walked in and saw me having tequilas with a uh, Manolo and Jesus? Your mother-in-law lives in Florida. And this could be the one night she comes to town. Oh, Florence. <laughs> I need a date real bad. Look, time is going by. My hormones are going tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> Give me your hand. What? Give me your hand. You feel my breast? Yes. Well, that's <laughs> not good enough. <laughs> <laughs>
give you less attention. Mano and I have brought you fresh flowers and fresh candy.
you wish to go back a little in the conversation? <laughs> no, I, I just caught up. Um. <laughs> well, um, isn't this nice? <laughs> yes. Um, I was just telling Flo the other day how we met. Ah. <laughs> Who is Flo? She is. Yes. Flo is short for Florence. No, she's not too short. No. <laughs>
And how long have you been in the United States of America? Ah, three years. Three years. Are you, you're on holiday? Oh, no. no. We work here. Tell her, Jedus. Just Iberia. Oh, you work in Siberia? No, Iberia. <laughs> the Spanish allies. Oh, oh, I didn't understand. Are, are you pilots? Oh, no, no. A, a sales and administration. <laughs> I really must learn Spanish. Today, everyone in New York does. If you don't know what caballero means, you're afraid to go to the bathroom. Ah. That is a never very good point. Now you have three good points, Fly. Fly? <laughs> that is Juni for short. Flo. Oh, Flo. Ah. Yeah, I'm so very sorry. Flo. It's all right. Manny. <laughs> Manny? <laughs> oh, he's short for Manolo. He's good, Jesus. Huh? Not Jesus. Sweethearts? No, no, silly. That's my little boy and girl. 
<laughs> e precioso such pretty children. Preciosos, no, Jesus? Oh, see, sí, muy precioso. The little girl looks like you. <laughs> no, no, that's the little boy. <laughs> and they live with the father. No, they're still away in summer camp. He's a wonderful father. He's always strict with them, but very fair. Sydney's an exceptional man. Oh, but what am I saying? You don't want to hear this. Oh, but of course we do. It is good to get everything up. We got it up. You have to get it up, too. Oh. I'm trying. That's him, Sidney. Ah, very distinguished. Very distinguished, no, Jesus? No. <laughs> yes, very distinguished. He's a cowboy? <laughs> <laughs> well, he has beautiful teeth, black hair. Is he Spanish? <laughs> no, but I, I think the hair is... <laughs> Then we will wait for you upstairs. Apartment. 
14 feet. We won't even wait for the elevator. Uh, it's true. There's, there's always dogs in there.
But she's still our friend. And she's still out on the street. And I'm still worried about her. I'm not. I'm not concerned. I'm not worried. Who do you think sent her out there in the first place? Sydney. What? Sydney sent her out there in the first place. You sent her out in the second place. And whoever she lives with next will probably send her out in the third place. Don't you understand? It's Florence. She does it to herself. Why? I don't know. There are people like that. It's a tribe in Africa who hits themselves over the head with rocks all day. <laughs> I'll bet they don't arrange their nuts. <laughs> I wonder where she'll go this time. All right, all right, I knew it. She wants to come back. New York City didn't want her either. Hey, I'll get no, the door. No, 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 that's not the game. I don't want her to know that we were worried about it. No, everybody sit down like nothing happened. Right. Like, oh. Sending you 
any more checks. There is a limit to. You sent me a check? <laughs> you mean you repaid everything? Well, gee, I, I'm glad you had a big winter bill, but I never expected you to pay back all. Of no. <laughs> no, I, I know what you mean by self respect. Uh, Phil, does this mean that you won't be calling me anymore? God! I, I hope you will. Yeah, yeah, you're right.